Good morning, Hopper Class. I hope you're well. Oh, that's going to annoy me. This is your phonics lesson. So we're going to learn a new sound today. And one word with our new sound in is neat. 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 Good job. Another word would be please. 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 Amazing. Right. And the picture that goes with our sound looks like this. And this lady is having a very nice cup of tea. Cup of tea. Cup of tea. And the sound looks like this. How many letters make up our sound today? That's right, it's two. Well done. E. E. Cup of tea. E. Right, let's see if I can catch you out. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to hide our E sound in our phonics pack. Let's see if you can send me a sparkle when you see it. Uh. Ch. Or. I. R. Er. E, it's the same sound, isn't it? But it's spelt differently. Well done if you noticed that. U, A, E. Well done if you remember to sparkle. Right, let's do it again. But I'm not going to say any of the sounds now. Remember to sparkle when you see it. Did you sparkle? Well done. Should we do it one more time, but super fast? Let's see. Ready? Oh, there it is. Let's carry on. Oh, see how far I can go without dropping them. Oh, oh no, oh no. We'll stop there. Well done for remembering to sparkle. Okay, let's some words with our new sound in them. We're going to start off with this one. Special friend. Fred talk. Say the word. E. T. E. T. Well done. Special friend, Fred talk, say the word. E, P, U, E, S, please. One more. E, D, R, E, M, dream. Well done. Let's go back to some sounds that we have already learnt and let's see. If you can remember those, can you thread these in your head? Remember, special friend, thread in your head and then say the word out loud. Uh, d, uh, t, dirt. Well done if you got that one. Uh, 
Oi. A oi. Annoy. La. A. Ooh, a. La. I said before, didn't I? A la might be where someone who's very naughty lives. So this grew in Despicable Me. He lived in a la. I'm trying to think what the next thing is that I need to do. Someone just distracted me. Right. Okay. I've got some challenge words. So remember, when we have a challenge word, we split it into two, don't we? So, special friends. That's right. E and ch. Can you Fred talk? R e. And say the word reach. Let's swap over. Special friend. Fred talk. That's it. Ng. Ng. Reach. Ng. Reaching. Good job. One more. Okay. Now, it's still a long one, so we're going to split it. Special friend Fred talk. That's right. E E P. Are there any special friends? No. Fred talk. N -ut. Nut. P e N -ut. Peanut. Fantastic. All right then, now I need you to get a whiteboard and a pen or pencil and paper, okay? So pause the video and off you go and get those things. Have you got them? Excellent. We're going to write some spellings. The first word you're going to write is neat. Neat. Now remember that E sound. Can you write the word neat? Pause the video if you need more time. I'm going to write mine. Neat. Now, there are three sounds, aren't they? Neat. Neat. Mm. E. It's a bit wonky, isn't it? Neat. The next word you're going to write is clean. Clean. How many sounds are there? Show me your fingers. That's right, there are four. Clean. Clean. Pause the video if you need more time. Ooh. Special friend. E clean. Tricky one. Are you ready? Okay, we can do this. Reaching. Reaching. Right, okay, sound it out and tell me how many sounds there are in the word reaching. Show me your fingers. I think there's five. Shall we sound it out together? Uh E -ch -e -ng. reaching. Let's write it. Mm. Special friend. E. Another special friend. Ch. E. And another special friend. Ng. Reaching. Give yourself a sparkle. Okay, are you ready to write a sentence? 
right. Your sentence is, may I have a cup of tea? May I have a cup of tea? So you can a funny voice. May I have a cup of tea? Now there's something really special about this question. I've just given you the answer. There's something special about this sentence and I've just told you it's a question. So what do we need on the end of this sentence? That's right, a question mark. So remember that for the end. May I have a cup of tea? Okay, pause the video and write your sentence. May. Now it's the start of the sentence. So we I don't know why I've written it that big. Right. May. 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 I. That's a red word, isn't it? May. I. Now I've done this as a capital letter because I'm referring to myself. May I, oh, has another red word, have a cup. There's no special thing here. Cup of, so many red words in the sentence, of tea, t e, or two sounds. That's our new special friend, T. Right. I've got my capital letter. I've remembered my finger spaces. And can you remember what I need on the end of my sentence? That's right, a question mark. There we go. So what I want you to do is write this sentence for me and take a photo of your sentence and spellings and put them on tapestry. If you wanted an extra challenge, you could add the word please at the end, couldn't you? May I have a cup of tea, please? So if you're feeling really confident with the E sound, maybe you could do that too. I look forward to seeing your work. Have a fantastic day. Take care, everybody. Bye.